You are listening to the JJ Podcast, where discussions with people from all walks of life are being held. You talk about the idea of, you know, um, Ashoka believing that everybody can be a change maker. Um, and you're, you're, you're looking for social entrepreneurs. And certainly they, they would be scattered all over the world. Um, and so, and there's also the idea that, you know, the, I think I mentioned just now the, you know, the change maker idea. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about that. Um, and the, like the, the different, like the patterns that you've noticed when you've worked with social entrepreneurs, like what is, what is, what is it that they have in common, you know, for them to be change makers, you know, what's that, that X factor that they have, let's say, yeah. uh, throughout your years of working with entrepreneurs and social and, and change makers. Sure. And, and, uh, if it's helpful, maybe even just to d distinguish those terms a little bit, there's change makers and there's social entrepreneurs. And I think, uh, just to start, you know, uh, I think Ashoka is in some ways is responding to a, a really critical historic moment. Um, you know, if you zoom out from our day to day and instead look at it with a bit of a historic perspective, you'll see that, um, that the rate of change in society has, has continued to accelerate and that acceleration is becoming exponential. You know, if you, you know, 500 years ago, many people were, would be born, grow up, live, have kids. Uh, the next generation would be born, grow up, have kids in the same town, maybe doing the same things that their parents and their parents before them did. Uh, you know, a few hundred years ago, we saw that the rate of change really increased, started to increase exponentially. And what that means is that um, a lot of the ways in which we learn to grow up in which we help people have the skills they needed to succeed, and the structures we lived within, all are going to need to change, and they're coming into the pressure that they need to change. So um, Ashoka recognizes that you know in a world that's defined by an accelerating rate of change, it's not sufficient to have kind of mastery of certain bodies of knowledge, of certain bodies of facts, or certain kind of academic skills. Increasingly, people need to be able to kind of navigate and contribute to and thrive in a world that's defined by change. And they need skills like empathy, teamwork, leadership, and change making to become change makers. Um, and everybody, everybody is going to need this. Um, so every person, every family, every you know, um, every community, every business, uh, really is going to increasingly need uh, a higher proportion of people who are change makers to succeed and thrive in this world. And so that's a show. Because goal is to create a world where everyone is a change maker. Um, and, mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I, I, uh, yeah, continue with, uh, with the idea. Yeah, and so that's, you know, and so one of the things that we have colleagues at Ashoka whose goal it is to make the case that just like um, when you, you send kids to school, they you want them to learn kind of academic skills. You want them to learn to read and write and to do math and you know, have knowledge of facts about the world. Um, increasingly, also, they need to learn this kind of skills of cognitive based empathy, right? How do I understand someone else? Who, who's grown up experience is very different than my own, who comes from a different place, who has different experiences, different family connections, all of those kinds of things. Uh, empathy, cognitive-based empathy is the ability to put oneself in one another's shoes and understand each other um, uh, as they would understand themselves. This is incredibly important because a world defined by change, you know, the rules that we had that determined how things used to work are not gonna be the rules that determine how things need to work in the future. We're gonna need to create, recreate those. And so we need to, in order to avoid doing harm, we need to understand people um, from all different kinds of contexts and walks of life, et cetera. So, and for example, the skill of cognitive-based empathy becomes critically important in a world by change in a way that it wasn't, or we, we didn't understand it to be uh, earlier. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the JJ Podcast. Be sure to share it with all your friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the content.